Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Today we'll be doing a uh, little review here on the P-Class 060T by Hattons. Um, I've had this uh, a couple of months now since they were released. Um, that slowly getting through all of my collection of what I need to review. Um, so let's get straight on into it. So as we can see, we have uh, the Hattons standard hard card um, packaging with the blister pack and the foam inside. What I really, really do like this type of packaging it is probably the best packaging out there so far. You get a lovely solid card box keeps the model nice and safe that's also then stuffed with foam and also a blister pack what keeps the loco really 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 safe in there so let's have a quick look at the box so as we can tell it's got the hattons branding all over it the normal hattons standard box if we come to this side you can see which one i went for so I've gone for the SECR P-Class 060T 178 in SE and CR 4 lined green with brass. So the product code for this is H4-P-001, digital ready and 6 pin. As you can tell, you just got the normal um, kind of legal stuff on the back there. It's very very nice so let's get on in let's get into the box oh take the lid off so the first thing that we see is a um, instructions by the looks of it so we got the South Eastern and Chatham Railway new passenger locomotive P class 060T and then they've got some uh, logos there will look very 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 nice indeed then you got the care instructions there so you got handling the locomotive operating instructions colored diagrams all oh, very nice so how to fit decoder uh, detail parts the whole shabam here um, fitting a crew warranty information any history in here no no history that's very very nice indeed put the gun to one side let's take this uh, bit of foam off look how thick that foam is inside there nothing is going to be damaging that model that is very 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 nice very 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 nice indeed absolutely lovely Okay, so there is nothing else in this box, I believe. Let's just have a quick look underneath the foam. Because I remember with DGMs, they used to hide a little detail bag under the foam. Right, no, so there's nothing under there. If you guys remember the DJ models, j 4s they always used to have like um, fire irons underneath the foam that nobody knew about. Um, so... Let's just put the box to one side. And let's take a first look at this beautiful, beautiful little 060 tank engine. And all I'm going to say is, wow. Um, it's absolutely stunning. This is probably one of the nicest liveries out there back in the BR days and the when everything was classified and all that stuff absolutely stunning so let's get this out of its uh, blister pack here let's just slowly slide that out um, I'm sorry if the lighting's not very good guys um, 
it's quite dull outside and I don't have any like specific like lights that I can turn on um, to get better lighting in my room. I have switched my bulb to a one of the LED lights, um, but so it makes the room look a little bit brighter, but it's not as good. Oh, oh there we go. Bloody hell, that was tight. Okay, so you have a little detail bag. It has been opened so I could get the couplings out. Um, but you got all these little extra buffers. You got some tail lamps in there, some white discs, and lots and lots of pipe in there. Really, really nice indeed. Place that to one side. Right, let's get her out of the box. Oh, wow. Just place that to one side. Just move her back a little bit. Okay. She is so small. I've got to zoom in a little bit for you guys. There you go. So here she is in her pride and joy. Absolutely astonishing. Got this beautiful, beautiful dark green livery here uh, with the lighter green lining there. Absolutely astonishing absolutely astonishing you got the i honestly do not know where to start on this model it's absolutely astonishing so as you can tell we got these beautiful uh ses se and cr line green livery well it's been applicated very very well all the transfers are very, very, very crisp indeed. Got all this lovely brass detailing there on the chimney, the safety valve and the whistle dome there. And you've got this beautiful little metal whistle on top, which is very, very nice. I'm really, really sorry about the, uh, the lighting, guys. It is a little bit dark. Um, got uh, the lining absolutely everywhere on this model. You have the separately fitted handrails, uh, little valves, little oil pot, oil filling up pots. Just little details that just make an absolute amount. And as you can see there, we also have lightning on the front of the tanks as well. We got NEM couplings, NEM couplings and sprung buffers. What well, is very, very nice indeed. We also have the uh, separately fitted lamp bracket and the smoke box door dart there. Very, very nice. Picked out in a lovely silver colour. What well, stands out very, very nicely. Also got a um, lined buffers there as well. It's very, very nice. Coming to this side, you can see a bit more of the separately fit detail here. So we've got all your compressor pumps and stuff there. Um, I think that's what they're called. Um, but you've got air systems and all these lovely um, pipe work going along the side of the model there. Also, we have this beautiful lining on the sole bar along here. These beautifully separately fit steps. Absolutely astonishing there. Coming to the back of the model. I'm really, really sorry about the lighting, guys. It's not the, uh, the best. Um, we got glazed windows what well, looks very very nice they are flush with the little gold rim what well, looks absolutely beautiful as you guys can see i've added some of my uh my real coal to the uh the tender there uh, not the tender the bunker sorry 
We've also got lining on the back of the model and also uh, a pre-fitted vacuum pipe. Also, we've got the lovely little sprung buffers there as well and the NEM coupling. And also, we've got num the number of the locomotive on the buffers as well. If I get it to focus. There you go, guys. If I just get it on my hands, you guys can see a little bit better. There we go absolutely astonishing model come into the underframe here as you can see it's picked out in a lovely kind of like reddish brown color um absolutely beautiful then also the wheels are picked out in green and brown there as well and the rods are just plain silver what i think looks really really nice indeed on the side of the tank on the side of the bunk there you got its number and then it's builder's plate or oh, looks very very nice indeed absolutely astonishing model now if i turn it over we'll have a look at the bottom nice and plain you could do got brake rig in there well it's very very nice and really really fine as well like look how fine if, if it will focus those sand pipes are there absolutely astonishing and of course you've got plenty of rivet work on the model what well, looks absolutely astonishing right so let's set it down there so let's head over to the layout and we'll see how she performs here we are over at the layout and uh, place it down on the outside track here. So let's see how she performs. So I'm just gonna give her a little bit of juice from the controller. And that is not a bad crawl if I see so myself. She may look a little bit jolty, but I think that's just because the track hasn't been cleaned for about a week, two weeks. But I think that is astonishing. Let's try to reverse. And she hasn't been running for a while either. I think last time I run her, it was about two, three weeks ago possibly four so nearly a month she hasn't really been running so but that is astonishing so let's get her hooked up to some wagons Bring her forward into shot a little bit. So I'm gonna get her running around the layout and I'll get a few shots of her running around. Joining her will be the SE and CRC class locomotive, what I also need to do a review on. Hopefully I'll be doing that after this video. Another absolutely astonishing model. Make sure the P class gets over those points all right. Okay, so get a few shots of these two running around and I will be with you guys very shortly.
there you have it, the review of the Hatton's P-Class SE and CR livery. So, the weight of this model was 121 grams I weighed it in on. So, it's nice and heavy, uh, nice and heavy for the size of the locomotive itself. Uh, I paid, I believe I paid £99 exactly for the model from Hatton's. Um, and as you guys know, if you've been with the channel uh, for quite a while, you'll know I do a score system. So the packaging for this model, I give a 10 out of 10. The detail is 10 out of 10, absolutely astonishing. Performance, I've given a 9.5 out of 10 because it could be a little bit better on the crawl. Accessories, I've given a 10 out of 10. I believe that's kind of all you really need. Um with the locomotive uh, value for money i've given a 10 out of 10 because it's 99 pounds for an 060 with this this much detail is absolutely brilliant um so overall i've given the model a 9.9 .9 out of 10 um if the performance of the crawl was a little bit better it would have gone it would have gotten top marks so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and drop a comment down below and i will see you in the next one